I typed in the the model of the tractor 6155M and I went into models just to get the correct model. So she's FT4, which is that blue, and she's manufactured after 2020. I'm going to diagnostics. <coughs> now I'm going to plug in the, the EDL so I can connect to the machine and I have to turn on the ignition. Okay. Sorry, no, I'll just check what, which volume EDL is. She's a volume 3. V3 USB connect. There's no effort now to connect. Supply voltage too low. Remote control switch repair pure fault. That's stored. They're all stored. So. Are so these all <coughs> fault? They're codes? all fault codes. Okay. Um. So they are. They're, they're all stored. Which means they're not active. So if I just refresh the codes, and press clear codes. And I'll start the tractor here now after. They might come up active and maybe if I for that remote control switch if I press it it could come up that it's a it's a fall to become active now. Yeah. See the way now when I cleared it there is no codes. So just for the So are those faults not they're not if that was coming up active there'd be a code coming up in the they tractor. They come up again. They could come up again or they, and they come up here. But okay. for the pig iron, just we'll just check if you press the remote control switch. It works work when I see the lifts going up and down there. And the same on the fire side. We'll check the computer again now and see that code come up. <coughs> Like if it's not coming up on the, the dash, like it's it's probably all right. So sometimes a an old code could just come up for the for the sake of coming up, or just come up as a feet as it just it's maybe reddish and the falls fall, but it seems to be okay. And we'll just refresh the codes again in case. I guess there is something there, but I don't think there is.